Hey, internet friends, cousins, and scoundrels. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pull up a chair, honey, and let's have a chat. And since the algorithm really likes it when you interact with the content, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe since you're here. And I ain't gonna hold you. Let's get right into this. Well, it's finally happened after all these years. Game over. Yep. Looks like Martell is officially blackballed by the Scots. Now, who didn't see this shit coming? Hmm. Y'all, let's just call it what it is, okay? Martell is the literal embodiment of a slow hoe. And I say that with my full chest, okay? Mel told him time and time again that these so-called friends weren't checking for him. She told him they were using him. She told him to watch his back around the Scott men. But did he listen? Nope. Martell did what Martell does best. Ignore good sense, logic, and wisdom. Look, when Martell and Mel initially divorced, right? And the Scots came for Mel, dragged her, his kids, and her mama through the mud. What did Martell do? Nothing. Not nothing. Not a zip. Nothing. He had nothing. When basement Billy was posting his baby girl on his page, right? He said nothing about it. This man said disgusting shit about Mel and her mama. And you know who else didn't say anything either? Marceau and Maurice. Now, as long as they were going after Mel, it was open season, right? Because Mel deserved it, right? Martel didn't think that all that nasty venom was ever going to turn around and hit him. And why would he? It hadn't hit him after all this time. Shit. Meanwhile, okay, the writing just wasn't on the wall the whole time. It was in a neon lit sign with a big arrow saying, these men aren't your friends, Martel. That's what the sign was doing, right? Look, it's always been clear that the Scott men have never liked Martel. Shit, Martel just didn't know that. And I don't know how because they have been cackling at his downfall you know since the beginning right they laugh at every last one of his missteps and would y'all like ever hire him to do certain things hire an unlicensed contractor is not something right. you do. <laughs> i'd work with them but i don't why are you like this dog <laughs> y'all heard what marceau said he said he wouldn't hire anybody without a builder's license and Maurice couldn't even contain himself. He was falling down in that damn chair laughing so hard. Seriously. These two men don't consider Martel a friend, right? Because if they did, they would help him. Marceau could let him work under his license, right? But they don't give a shit that Martel is out here struggling. They don't care if this man can't put food on the table to feed his kids. They think this shit is funny. All of them, Tisha and Kimmy too, yes, they think it is hilarious, okay? Now, let's talk about Marceau's little stand against the revenge pee, right? Okay, it was the right thing to say. It was the right move. But I'm not going to pretend that Marceau is doing something special, okay? I'm not going to act brand new here, and I don't think you should either, okay? When this shit first hit mainstream media and Martel got arrested who was the main one brushing it off that's right it was Marceau don't act like y'all forgot his little free Martel comment uh -huh. I did say something on the bottom yeah what you say uh-uh 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 oh wow wow what the f is wrong with you you say you don't know what the Go hell on. happened, but you're going to test the anchor free Martell? What the f*** is wrong with you? Truth is, the destruction of the Holt family has always been entertainment for the Scots. Okay? So no, Marceau doesn't get any brownie points for suddenly growing a conscience. Doing the right thing now doesn't erase all the times he stood by and laughed or stayed quiet when his brother, mother-in-law, and wife acted a fucking fool okay no it doesn't not for me anyway and the reason why Martel is so angry is because he is genuinely caught off guard 
he is completely stunned that Marceau is not backing him. He is really shocked that Marceau is openly calling him a liar and openly going on record to say that he doesn't respect him. And he isn't kidding about it. Marceau is dead ass serious, right? Marceau is so serious. In fact, he's willing to go toe to toe with Martel in this moment. It's kind of crazy to watch, really. And Martel is standing there. <laughs> looking like a deer in headlights he he can't believe it right he cannot believe what is happening and let's not forget martel has been holding all of their dirt for years years but instead of using that information to his advantage he was too busy attacking mel getting all these folks to attack mel and isolate her but he didn't realize that while he was doing that he was also isolating himself too because these people don't like him either, right? But that's on him, right? The information that he's holding now may not have the same impact that it would have had five years ago, right? When all of his skeletons and coleslaw was falling out of the closet, right? Does he even still have the receipts? I don't know. I'm starting to think he doesn't because Marceau and Tisha stood up and called his bluff and told him to show them, right? Now, what happens next? That part was to be continued, but who knows, child? If I got to put money on it, I would say he ain't got shit. He ain't got shit. And now he's standing there looking real dumb while the people he thought were his boys were either calling him out or staying quiet as fuck, okay? Hell, Maurice sitting there like a damn statue. Chris Fletcher, quiet as a mouse. These men who were all once loud and wrong about that revenge pee suddenly have nothing to say now that Marceau is positioning himself as Mr. Morality. It's funny how that works, right? They left Martel's stupid ass out there swinging in the wind all by his damn self. Look, I will say that whatever Martel had or has on the Scott man is all shit that that shit is at least five years old now because if you really think these men continued to let martel be around them while they played in these streets after he had nothing left to lose then you as slow as him no what they did was play the long game right they kept him in the mix just long enough to let time put some space in between all that dirt that they did together right that shit is old now so although it might still be a conversation that a married couple would have to have, the infidelity dirt that Martel's holding is now five plus years old. Look, not saying that these men are no longer doing shit. I'm saying that what Martel knows is five plus years old. I don't think he has any recent tea. Hell no. And Tisha and Kimmy? Nah, shit, girl, please. Those women have seen and heard so much bullshit by now. They need to witness full-on insertion to even bat an eye at this point. A five-year-old affair isn't going to move either of them. And it sure as hell isn't going to change a thing for these women. They're not leaving these marriages. They do not care, okay? Martel... <laughs> Martel is a whole ass loser, okay? And honestly, he's getting exactly what he deserves. This man is stupid. He just he, he's just fucking stupid. He can't see the forest for the trees. He doesn't know when he's being played, and it's obvious why. Martel had the right woman by his side for years, okay? Mel was the brains of that operation. Whether Martel wants to admit it or not, she was the one pulling the strings, handling the business, and saving his ass when he couldn't even see the trap he was walking into. She was clearly the one keeping this man afloat. And it's crystal clear that Martel is drowning without her, okay? It's like the man never learned how to think for himself, right? He has not been able to accomplish a thing in this woman's absence. And it's a damn shame. Ciao. So for all y'all still out there making questionable decisions, y'all better take notes. Maurice Marceau, Chris Fletcher, y'all better take notes 
Don't let your egos blind you to what's right in front of you. See, karma is real. She's a bitch and she doesn't forget. So y'all, if y'all are out here doing shit, it's going to come back. It's going to catch up, right? And it's going to give these hoes exactly what they need, right? It's going to take a lot for Kimmy and Tisha. But karma knows what it takes, okay? So y'all better take notes to what happened to Martel, right? Because Marceau loves to say he doesn't want to get divorced, but he better fucking straighten up. I, look, if he out here doing something, he better look, okay? Anyway. What do you guys think about Marceau's newfound morality? Do you think he's truly sincere? Or do you think it's just a power play? Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Bet you know now.